Okay, Delta Chiropractic Center is going live again. This time, you've already seen behind the counter where Liz and Don work. Now we're going to the insurance corner. So this is where the magic happens, where they make sure you get all the benefit you can from your insurance coverage. So here's Tammy. Say hi, Tammy. Hi. And Tracy. I hi. forgot your name, Tracy. So these guys do all the hard work of finding what your coverage is, getting the postings done, the billing, the coding, and they're excellent at what they do. See how confident they look? <laughs> so anyway, I want to get you, give you some insight into that. We always do our best to make sure you get uh, the coverage that you deserve from the policies you have. Um, and this is where that happens. So they are very good at what they do. Uh, now let's take one more look behind the scenes. Thanks, gals. Thank you. you did great. Um, they're always nervous about being on Facebook Live, so I don't give them any warning. That way they uh, can't uh, hide from me. Good bet no to do that. So uh, let's do the uh, health tip of the day. Uh, since you've seen the behind the scenes, the insurance uh, corner of Delta Chiropractic Center, uh, you know at Delta Chiropractic Center we look at six components of health. Six things you can work on or invest in to make sure your health is the best it can be. Those six components are nutrition, rest, exercise, stress management, spiritual health, and your spine. And we all work on those things to various amounts, um, even if accidentally, because for nutrition, for instance, we eat because we're hungry. You can be more proactive than that and more deliberate about that. Um, and we'll talk about that down the road somewhere. Uh, today, I want to just spend a minute on the spiritual component. We are spiritual beings who happen to inhabit physical bodies. Um, and in my life, um, I'm a t kind of a, I approach things intellectually more than uh, emotionally. Um, and I have found in my evaluation of uh, spiritual matters and different religions and the pros and cons of different belief systems that the Bible has the answers. In fact, I wrote a book called 17 Questions uh, that addresses my journey, how I came to the conclusions I have come to about the Bible having good answers. And um, so I, I would like to encourage you to A, uh, not ignore your spiritual health. That's an important part of our lives. And it impacts our physical lives. So if we're spiritually healthy, we can be physically healthier as well. I'd also like to encourage you to consider the claims of the Bible. Um, and of course, people have argued about what the Bible says for 2,000 years now, uh, almost 2,000 years since the last book of the Bible was added to that book. Um, but it claims uh, that there is a God, that he is involved in our lives, that he recognizes that we have problems that we can't solve by ourselves and that he loves us enough that he provides the answers for those problems. And a big component of that is uh, what the Bible teaches about Jesus Christ, about his dying to take our place, our, the place of our punishment, and offering us forgiveness and salvation and a new heart and eternity uh, with God and with our loved ones. Uh, if we accept that gift. So anyway, consider that. Think about it. Um, and if you have questions about it, uh, I'd be glad to take a phone call, an email, or obviously I'd be glad to, uh, happy to have you read my book, 17 Questions. It's available on Amazon, or if you can't afford it, let me know. I'll give you a copy. Um, so that's our health tip of the day. Of our six components, nutrition, rest, exercise, stress management, spiritual health, and spine, we just touched on spiritual health a little bit today. Uh, overall, I want you to be happy. I want you to be healthy. So that's it for today. Stay well, stay healthy, stay happy.